Hey guys, and welcome to Yoga in an Airstream. Maybe it's yoga in a van, yoga in a tiny home, or even yoga in your hallway. Wherever you're at, my name is Stacy, and I'm here to show you ways you can practice yoga even in tiny spaces. Today's class is a simple basic yoga flow. It's something you can pop on every day whenever you just want to get moving. So go ahead and hop on your mat, hop on your rug. We're going to start off in our mountain pose, the top of our mat, settling in here, and just taking a few breaths as you arrive. Feel free to close off the eyes. And just begin to settle in. Feel the feet root into the earth, into the ground below, providing you a strong, stable foundation. Shoulders release away from the ears. And maybe draw the shoulder blades in, begin to open up through the heart and the chest. Fingertips shoot down towards the earth, sending energy down below. Standing nice and tall. And just seal the lips off as you begin to breathe in and out through the nose. Notice the sounds. Notice the smells. Just taking in all your surroundings. With each inhale, filling up with life, filling up with air. With each exhale, letting it all go, sending out anything you're holding on to, anything you need to release. Clear the mind. And allow your mind, your thoughts to focus solely on the breath. Go ahead and draw the palms to heart center, Anjali Mudra. Feeling the fingertips press in towards one another. Thumbs press into the heart space. And just open the heart up, open the chest as you draw the shoulder blades back. Take a moment here to pause. Invite an intention to your practice today. It can be something you just want to focus on, something that you want to dedicate your practice this next 15 to 20 minutes to even be a dedication to someone that you love, someone that needs some extra energy or good feeling, good vibes sent to them today. On your next inhale, we're going to take the arms up high all the way up. Nice and long, reach the fingertips towards the ceiling. If your fingertips touch your ceiling, you can draw the elbows down, accommodate for whatever space you're practicing in. And then on an exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold, nice and easy. First forward fold of the day, you can heel toe those feet out wide. Just sway the hips side to side. Today's practice is going to give your full body a nice good stretch. I'm going to flow through a few rounds of our vinyasa, flowing breath to movement, getting into the hips, and strengthening our legs. So take a deep bend in the knees here, belly rests on the thighs, come into a ragdoll, sway side to side, keep it loose, nice and easy. Feel free to shake out the head side to side. 
Shake it, yes, shake it, no. Loosen up through the neck. And then pause here for a moment. Let all of gravity pull the crown of the head towards the earth. And then taking an inhale in through the nose, fill all the way up. And then as you let it go, flutter the lips like a horse. Good. Do that once again. Let's loosen up through the jaws. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, flutter the lips. Let it go. Good. Release the fingertips to the earth. Heel to the feet. Back in. Halfway lift on your inhale. Strong legs. Flat back. Exhale, plant the palms and then slowly step back one foot at a time. You can sway the hips side to side. Shift the weight forward and backwards. Stretch through those calf muscles. And then come back to high plank. We're going to shift the weight forward, slowly lower down. So use your elbows as a little shelf as you lower down towards the earth, hovering. Pause here. You got it. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Keep the thighs lifted up off the ground. Strong arms. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Toes tuck under. Hips press up towards the sky. All ten fingers spread nice and wide here, reaching the heels towards the earth. Take a bend in the knees one at a time. Walk your dog. Pedal it out. Feel that nice long energy pressing from the palms of the hands all the way up through the spine. Lifting those hips towards the ceiling. Two more breaths here. Deepen in the knees, gaze up towards the fingertips, and then slowly walk feet to meet the hands. Nice and easy. You can keep a soft bend in the knees. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. On your inhale, rise all the way up. Reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, palms to heart center, Anjali Mudra. Good, draw those shoulders back. Reconnect with your breath. Reconnect with your intention. Again, feel those feet rooted into the ground below. Spread all ten toes nice and wide, giving yourself a strong foundation. Again, inhale, arms reach high, breathe in. Exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back, draw the shoulder blades down the back and the shoulders away from the ears. Plant the palms, step back, high plank. Again, drop the hips side to side. Taking some movements in our poses. And then nice strong arms, high plank. Pause here, engage the core. Shift the weight forward, lower. Use the elbows as a shelf. Good. Inhale. Upward facing dog. And then pause here with the legs, the thighs lifted up off the ground. And then take a gaze over your right shoulder. Maybe drop the left hip down. Come back to center. And then take it to the left. Gaze goes over the left shoulder. Right hip drops down. Awesome. Come back to center. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips go high. Pedal up the feet. 
And then settle in. We're here for three breaths. Nice, long, extended downward facing dog. Feel that stretch through the spine. Through the back of the hamstrings. Good. Deepen in the knees. Gaze up towards the fingertips and slowly walk feet to meet the hands. You can also hop if you prefer. I like to keep things nice and smooth, so I prefer to walk feet meet hands. And then take a moment here. Just sway side to side. Tapping the hands to the left and to the right. Head is heavy. Good. Palms plant or fingertips plant. Feet go out wide. And then taking a deep bend in the right knee, plant the right palm to the center of the rug or mat. Left arm reaches towards the ceiling. Gentle twist here. Nice long stretch to the outside of the left leg. Slowly release, switch it out. Left palm plants to the center of the mat or the rug. Right arm reaches towards the sky, stacking your wrist over shoulder. Good. Exhale to release both palms. Plant into the earth. Heel to the feet back. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, palms release, heart center. Reconnect. Take a moment. Pause here. Good. Inhale, arms reach high. Breathe in nice and long. Exhale, forward fold. Let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat back. Exhale, plant the palms. Step back one foot at a time. Again, controlled movements. Shifting the weight forward as you inhale. Lower as you exhale. Strong arms. Inhale, upward facing dog. Good. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take the big toes together to touch. And on your next inhale, extend the right leg high. Reaching the sole of the right foot back behind you. Try to keep the hips even. A lot of times our right hip wants to extend up, our left hip wants to drop down. Try to keep them parallel to one another and actively pressing the right heel up and back. Good. Lift the right leg a little bit higher as you breathe in. Exhale, knee to nose. Draw the knee in towards the nose. Crunch it in. Good. Exhale, extend right leg long. Draw the knee all the way forward. Step the right foot. Feet to meet the hands. On your inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Take a moment here. Find your balance. Relax the shoulders. And sink into this pose a little bit deeper. Activating the thighs. Nice, strong foundation. If you're having trouble with balancing, actively press your legs, your thighs in towards one another. Keep your center of gravity nice and low. And then release the palms to the earth. Step the right foot back and press up into downward facing dog. You can shake it out, sway side to side. And then take it to the opposite side. Left leg reaches high. Again, balance out the hips. Left heel reaches back. Nice and long. 
Lift the left leg a little bit higher. Exhale, knee to nose, draw it in. Good, fire up that core. Inhale, left leg extends. Exhale, draw the left foot forward. Foot meets the hands. On your inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Again, take a moment to settle in here. No need to rush. Always go at your own pace if you need to slow down. Feel free to do so. This is your practice. I'm just here guiding you. So sinking into this crescent lunge on the left side. Feel those legs fire up. And actively press the left and the right thigh in towards one another. Good. Sink a little deeper here. And then release the palms. Frame the left foot and step it back. Coming back into our downward facing dog. Taking a nice deep full inhale in. Open mouth, side out. Good. Go ahead and come onto your hands and knees, tabletop position. And then taking the big toes together to touch, pressing the hips back into a child's pose. Rest the forehead on the ground. Maybe massage your third eye, side to side. Allow your body to take a moment to rest. Allow your breath to slow down. And when you're ready, come back into tabletop position. Pressing up into high plank and then up into downward facing dog. Shake the head out side to side, release some tension through the neck. I'm taking the big toes together to touch, right leg lifts high, breathe in. Exhale, knee to nose, draw it in. Good, reach the right leg back, breathe in nice and long. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Good. Some core work here. You got it. Right leg reaches back. Exhale. Right knee. Cross it over. Left elbow. Good. Right leg reaches back. Breathe in. Exhale. Step it through all the way. <sighs> Inhale. We rise. Crescent lunge. Just here for a breath. Open up. Warrior two. So take a moment. Make sure that your right heel and your left arch are in alignment. Hips are facing towards the side windows or the side wall. Relax the shoulders, reaching both arms in opposite directions. So actively reaching left fingertips back, right fingertips forward. Your gaze can follow the right fingertips. Good, pause here for three breaths. It's too much on your neck to look forward. You can always face the side wall. Good, and keeping your legs exactly where they're at, we're gonna come into a reverse warrior. So keep the legs in the position. As, imagine that they're glued down to the earth. And then taking the right arm up and back, opening up through this front side body, the right side of the ribs. You can bind your left arm around your right hip or drop it down your back leg. Just make sure you're not dumping into that arm, the left arm too much. All of your support is in the legs. Good. 
Good. One more breath here. And then cartwheel the hands down, frame the front foot, stepping the right foot back and lower through your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So same thing on the left side, taking the left leg high, breathe in. Exhale, knee to nose, draw it in. Extend left leg, breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow. Hold here, tap it, and then take it back. Inhale, left leg extends. Exhale, cross it over knee, left knee to right elbow. Good, left leg extends, you got it. Step it all the way through. Rise into crescent lunge. Take a moment, take a breath here. Settle in. And then open up to warrior two. Peek down, make sure that the left heel, the right arch are in alignment. Hips are squared off, shoulders are squared off towards the sidewall. Arms reach, extending in opposite directions. A lot of times we're in our warrior poses, our front knee wants to retract back. Actively keep the left knee over left ankle. Strengthen through the legs here. The legs should be active. Building that nice and strong foundation. Again, keeping, imagining that the feet are glued down to, towards the earth. Legs stay in the same position that they're at. We're going to reverse our warrior. Left arm draws back. Open up through this left side of the body. Create some space. The left or the right arm can draw down the right leg or come into that bind. One more breath here. Cartwheel the hands down, frame the left foot, and step it back. Flow through your vinyasa, lower through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Good, exhale, downward facing dog, hips go high. Take the feet out wide, about mat width distance apart, and then walk your hands in slowly. We're gonna come into a downward facing dog twist. So keeping the left palm planted, take the right arm, draw it towards the left ankle, and then begin to rotate towards the left side, drawing that, little, that head under the left armpit. And breathe here. Good, release back to center and take it to the opposite side. Left arm takes, left palm reaches towards the right ankle. And then take it up and under the right armpit. Good. Come back to center. And then press the hips up for downward facing dog. Down dog is our resting pose, as challenging as it may be. We'll try to find some stillness here. And then taking the big toes together to touch, reach the right leg high. We're gonna come into our pigeon pose. So taking the right ankle to meet the left wrist, the right knee meets the right wrist here. So setting up shin parallel as possible to the mat in front of you. And then when you're ready, when you feel like you've have yourself situated in a comfortable position, you can begin to lower down onto the forearms. So 
So use the breath here. Nice, deep, full breath, sending oxygen, sending life into the right hip space. For a lot of us, our hips are the tightest places on our body. So utilize this time to really sink in, to massage that hip area, and just to give it some love and attention. I say we tend to hold on to emotions in our hips. So with each exhale, release and let it all go. Know that if you can't quite get your shin parallel in front of you, but that's okay wherever you're at. Find that stillness and activate that deep pranayama breath, that life force. When you're ready, you can begin to plant the palms into the earth as you rise up. Pressing into the ball of the left foot as you lift and raise the right leg high, shaking it out. Whenever you need to shake out the right hip area, take some circles. And then plant the right foot. We're gonna take the left leg high, Extend long, and then exhale as you draw the left foot to meet the right wrist, left knee to meet the left wrist. Creating some space here. Again, draw the shin as parallel as possible to the mat in front of you. Finding some length in the spine and then slowly lower down when you feel ready to settle in. You may notice that the left side feels different than the right. Just taking note of that, how each side feels. Sinking and allowing gravity Open the left hip space with each exhale. When you're ready, press your palms into the floor. Begin to raise up. Take the left leg back, reach it nice and long, shake it out. Take any movement that you need. Release the left foot right next to the right. Hips pressed high. Last down dog of the day. And then slowly lower the knees towards the earth. Sit the hips back over the heels. A little stretch through the toes. And then take the hips over towards this side. We're going to extend the legs out in front of us. Give yourself enough space to roll back. Arms extend out in front of you. Engage the core, slowly roll down. As gracefully as you can. When you arrive on your back, draw the knees in towards your chest. You can rock side to side. Maybe come into a happy baby. Extend one leg and then the other. And then take the knees in towards your chest, squeeze into a tiny little ball, taking the deepest, fullest inhale of the day. Open mouth as you let it go, release into your final resting pose, Shavasana. Snuggle your shoulder blades in, palms face up towards the sky. 
feet splay out wide. Allow yourself to receive all the benefits of your practice. Ground below supporting you. Allow yourself to stay here in Shavasana for as long as you'd like. When you're ready, you can slowly roll over onto one side. Coming into your supported fetal position. And then pressing yourself up. We'll all meet the center of our mat. Palms rest at heart center, eyes close. Press the thumbs into your heart space. Thank yourself for showing up today, for giving your body movement, for calming the mind, and activating your breath. Draw the palms to your third eye center, that space between the eyebrows for clarity of thoughts. To your lips as you speak words of truth. And to your heart, may you go about the rest of the day, the rest of your week, always acting out of love. Coming at you live from Sydney, Ohio, my hometown, parked next to my parents' house. The light in me honors and bows to the light in you. Namaste. Wherever you're at in the world, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you guys next week for another episode, another class on Tiny Space Yoga. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Namaste.